Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. So I haven't had a lot of time lately to do any outdoor videos just because it's been so hot here in Arizona. So I thought maybe I would do some product review videos. And while I was trying to figure out what product review videos to do, I decided uh, to review some products from one company in particular, and that's Movo Photography. I purchased a few of their products recently over the past few months, and I really like their products. And I thought maybe I would share that with you guys. Like most of you, I'm an amateur filmmaker. And unlike some of you, I don't have a big budget to work with. I would love top of the line equipment, but my budget won't allow me to have top of the line equipment. So when I'm looking for equipment, I look for two things. I look for a product that's good quality and at a reasonable price. Sometimes it's a good deal and sometimes I get kind of skunked on the deal. But one of the products that I wanted to talk to you about today is the SV1000 multifunction pocket rig by Movo. This rig is phenomenal and uh, honestly, I'm going to get right to the point in this review. If you don't have one of these, there's no reason not to. It fits in your bag. It fits in your pocket. You can do just about anything with this thing, and I'll go over it with you a little bit to kind of show you how simple it is to use. On the top here, there's a, a platform. You can mount your DSLR. Uh, in fact, I've got a, a, a mount for my cell phone camera that I use most of the time. Um, but it's got these little screws that you can undo, and there's teeth that interlock. So you can set this at different angles, however you want to set it for whatever purpose you want to use it for. Now, for this instance, let's say we want a selfie stick. Well, we're just going to loosen these up until the teeth become loose enough that they'll slide past one another. And we'll just extend it all the way out, lock it up again, and do the same with the last one. It's pretty simple, really. Now you've got yourself a selfie stick. OK. Now let's say you want to get some footage close to the ground. I like a little bit of ground footage when I'm hiking and doing hiking videos and nature videos in general. So you can loosen that up, move it to a slight angle. Now you can hold this down towards the ground. Now you've got some good ground angles. Okay. So let's say you forgot your camera rig at home. All right. No problem for this guy right here. All you have to do is loosen these bolts. takes just a few seconds. Actually, we'll move this one right there. Attach your cell phone. See, there we go. I didn't get it locked into place all the way there. Now I've got a makeshift camera rig that'll help me be a little more stable when I'm taking video out hiking or just out in the field in general. So really versatile. I really love this thing. In fact, I've even seen some people go as far as this to use this as a shoulder rig to add stabilization to their camera cage rigs like this. They'll mount their camera cage here, put this over their shoulder and grip the cage. So it gives them a little bit more stability out in the field. I haven't done that yet. I do have Movo's camera cage, which I will do a review on later, but honestly, uh, this was one of the best things that I ever purchased. It's so versatile. You can even mount this to a tripod. And there is uh, one quarter and three eighths inch holes throughout this entire thing that are threaded. So you can add cold shoe mounts. Uh, you can add your, you can mount this to tripods and use this to hold lighting at different angles. Uh, it, it pretty much, these, these things are just invaluable if you're into any sort of video. So um, price wise, they don't sell this on the website anymore, unfortunately, but I picked this up on eBay for around 11 or $12. And I've seen them go as high as 20, 25 on Amazon. So it really depends on where you shop. Um, but either way, even if it's 20, $25, I highly recommend it. Uh, you're not gonna go wrong with this. My only complaint, and actually I'll, I'll make a note too, like I said before, just make sure that when you're interlocking these teeth that they grip in tight. If you try and tighten it down when it's not totally meshed with the next gear, it may slip. So just make sure that you actually grip it or get the teeth interlocking and you'll be fine. My only complaint about this is that this 
bolt right here to attach your camera mount or whatever. I wish it had a D-ring on the outside to help you twist it. Otherwise, you have to use a penny or a dime or your thumb or a screwdriver or whatever. I haven't had any issues with it so far, but still, it would just be nice to have that little bit of convenience on the bottom there with that, that D-ring. Uh, this is fully adjustable too. Won't fall out. You can untwist it and replace it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get a, a D-ring screw and just swap it out in here. Um, but really, I've been impressed with this thing. It goes everywhere with me. It goes in my bag. It goes everywhere. Anytime that I may think that I may want to take some video, it's it's there. So uh, even if I don't bring a cage, if I don't bring anything else, this and the Movo phone mount, which I'll do another review on, uh, because that's absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, it's one of the one of the best phone mounts that I've ever seen. And I'll also do the phone cage. But this and a phone mount, all you need out in the field. It'll do everything that you need it to do. And you're going to be really happy with it. So honestly, I give it a thumbs up for $10 to $25. Can't go wrong. I hope you enjoyed this. And please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.